Listen, so you would think that with this crystal ball of a forehead, uh, that Eric Adams would have been able to see into the future to try and prevent this day from coming. But here we are, an indictment. You hear what I'm saying? An indictment. All right, y'all. So as usual, the link to the article that I'll be using here is going to be in my description. New York Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted by a federal grand jury on charges that remain sealed. Now, I wonder how long these charges are going to remain sealed at the time I'm making this video. They're still sealed. I don't imagine that they will be staying sealed for long, girly. Like, I just, <laughs> I just don't. It's really crazy because I already knew that, like, they were looking into Eric Adams, but I did not know how bad it was. <laughs> like, it's bad. Although a spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York declined to comment, uh, Adams responded to the indictment with a statement of his own released on Wednesday night. He said, I always knew that if I stood my ground for New Yorkers, that I would be a target and a target I became. If I am charged, I am innocent and I will fight this with every ounce of, of strength in my spirit. All right, girl, we're gonna see how, <laughs> we gonna see how hard you gonna fight this girly. We're gonna see. And we ain't even get to like how bad it was. Well, I'm telling y'all it's bad. And by the way, you didn't stand your ground for New Yorkers. You acted a fool is what you did. I mean, we don't even have to get into it. I can read it off here. His administration has been criticized for misallocating contracts for migrant care. And also, we already know his obsession with, you know, deploying excessive police presence in subways. The NYPD is out of control and he further funds and emboldens them. Adams has also been involved in scandals related to cryptocurrency. It's just a mess. So it's just like you wasn't, you know, standing your ground for New Yorkers and, you know, making sure that their lives were bad. You were acting a fool. You were acting a fool, and now the clown has come back to bite. The police officer turned politician, which already is crazy. <laughs> anyway, the police officer turned politician, along with members of his inner circle, has spent nearly a year under the cloud of federal investigations. Listen to this. His cell phones were seized, and in recent weeks, the residences of some of his closest confidants were searched by federal agents working on several related corruption probe several mama it's so bad that all of his inner circle just dropping like flies uh the mayor two weeks ago accepted the resignation of edward Kafan, his hand-picked police commissioner after the authorities issued a subpoena for his phones girl once the authorities get them phones hun <laughs> listen to this the mayor's chief counsel lisa zornberg stepped down this week the school's chancellor david banks announced plans to retire at the end of the year banks had also turned over his phone to federal authorities banks younger brothers so you're talking about the school's the school's chancellor <laughs> david banks younger brothers Philip, the deputy mayor for public safety, and Terrence also had their phones seized. David Banks' fiance, Sheena Wright, the first deputy mayor, had her phone seized as well. Girl, they got your whole camp. <laughs> they did a sweep of the whole camp, taking y'all phones and stuff. They, <laughs> they said, girl, y'all are not allowed to play Candy Crush anymore. No, te no more Temple Run. Give me them phones. That's what they said. Put the, put the phones down like there was a teacher, girl. I am screaming. Adams has said that as a former police officer, he has always followed the rules. That is hilarious. Because he going to use the, one of the most corrupt <laughs> jobs right now. Like, to say that, oh, well, this, because I'm a police, because I was a police officer, of course I would follow the rules. Why wouldn't I follow the law as a police officer? Girl, <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here, Eric. That is... <laughs> We don't believe you, girly. Like, we don't, we don't believe you. He has also said that he has known of no misdoings within his administration. He has repeatedly said that he wasn't aware of any wrongdoing, dismissing the speculation that he would face charges as rumors and innuendo and vowing as recently as Wednesday afternoon to stay in office. Well, we will see if that's 
We'll see if that's possible, baby. He said, the people of this city elected me to fight for them and I will stay and fight no matter what. I love it when a politician or somebody does something heinous or is they just, people want them out of office. And instead of saying, hey, I'm going to hold on to this office because I like power and I would, <laughs> and I would like, y'all gonna have to pry it out of my hands. Instead of saying that, they, they say like things like, oh, well, I just, I will stay and fight for the people because the people elected me, girl, the people want you out of here. <laughs> and so does the federal government, girl. What are you talking about? Get up. <laughs> girl, get up. Girl, get, girl, get up. <laughs> girl, get up. The federal investigations into his administration first emerged publicly on November 2nd, 2023, when FBI agents conducted an early morning raid on the Brooklyn home of Adams's chief fundraiser, Brianna Suggs. Now, if they're doing raids on your home, <laughs> you just need to hang it up. At the time, Adams insisted he followed the law and said he would be shocked if any, listen to this, if anyone on his campaign had acted illegally. He said, I cannot tell you how much I start the day with telling my team we've got to follow the law. He re <laughs> yeah, that's what he told reporters. And I, in my mind, I think that's so funny because it's like, I, I be thinking like he was in there like telling, t telling his uh, employees like, hey guys, thanks for clocking in today. But remember today, we've got to follow the law. Okay? <laughs> I know it's hard, <laughs> but it, I, like I just imagine him running that every time like it's a bell ringer that you do right as class starts like he's just he's just running it by like hey y'all i know it's really hard for us to follow the law and like not break these laws out here but we really got to do it <laughs> eric you don't care about these these laws girl that's so funny like if these people like trump eric adams like they were so dangerous they would they should just go do you know a couple rounds a couple a tour a, a comedy tour or something because y'all this is hilarious there's only the only way you can look at this is just through the lens of laughter because it's just foolishness <laughs> it's just it's just foolishness the article says days later after the raid fbi agents seized the mayor's phones and ipad as he was leaving an event in manhattan girl they caught you while you was tipping out of some other event and they say hey guess what they tapped you on the shoulder and say hey guess what mama guess what mama hand over the ipad uh, and make sure you come up off that phone too. What's tea? <laughs> That's crazy. At an event, at, while you leave in a work event, they can't snatch your stuff, girl. They snatch your pager. <laughs> they snatch your razor. They snatch your Nokia, girl. Like, <laughs> even if you had a string connected to two cups, like you was Alexander Bell, hun. Girl, they would snatch that too. And honestly, we can stop reading here. But yeah, I've been said that a lot of these black politicians, you know, I'm thinking specifically about these mayors right now, like Eric Adams, Lori Lightfoot, you know, like all skin folk and kin folk, girl. Like these are people who use taxpayer dollars to oppress their own community, using the community's dollars to oppress the community. Isn't that crazy? Get him out of here. His whole entire staff got their phone snatched, got their stuff raided. And he's talking about, oh my goodness, we've tried to do everything by the books. But if there's anything going on, I know of no wrongdoing. Like, girl, save it. Save it. I wonder when the charges are going to be unsealed and stuff. But I, it's just, Eric Adams definitely ain't the only politician who's using taxpayer dollars, using the people's coin to oppress them building cop city in queens or whatever giving more giving more money to the cops who's, who's slaughtering us i already told you that some of these black politicians they be worshiping the ring they be worshiping the throne and if it means stepping on the marginalized even some of the marginalized communities that they themselves are a part of if it means stepping if they have to step on them to prove to the establishment that they doing what they're supposed to do that's what they're gonna do right um, I'm not like one of the other blacks. Like that's kind of the attitude that it gives. But at the same time, I th I think that they really do like Eric Adams really do think that he's not like one of the other blacks where he could just do whatever they, whatever he want. And because he was an ex uh, you know cop and he's a mayor now, that he can get away with it. And it's just like no, you are still <laughs> you are still a black man, girl. Like they come if they gonna drop the hammer on anybody, it's gonna be you first, girl. After after you get done dedicating your entire life to being their henchmen after after 
after I'm sure you watched some of some of the people who trying to charge you right now getting going after you after you watch them bend and break the rules they go and and after you get all this stuff done especially because you are uh, a black person that they can use for what kind of whatever kind of political agenda they want to push out there and you just lapping it up eating it up like the tap dancer that you are just doing their every bidding right you know thinking that you can get away with breaking and and not paying attention to these laws like these other people do this is like girl you are a black man <laughs> they gonna drop that hammer on you and it's crazy like you weren't even breaking the law in a way that would help your constituents in a way that would uplift marginalized communities you know what i mean it's what i'm not ain't nobody like worshiping the rule of law or anything but it's just like for you to use this hammer of the police force you know as a way to be like okay well we have to crush crime and all this stuff this whatever things you have to y'all have to tell yourself in order to keep funding this gang <laughs> right the fact that y'all are out here pressing and oppressing these these communities uh with the with with the idea of hey well we're just trying to uplift the rule of law like with that behind you while y'all breaking the law is hilarious to me and y'all ain't even like i said y'all ain't even breaking the law in a vigilante let's help the let's help the community robin hood kind of way like y'all not even doing that it's to enrich yourselves and just to be corrupt 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 and continue to destroy the communities that you're supposed to be caring about get them out of here get them out of here but yeah that's it that's all i wanted to say on this topic thank y'all so much for watching thank those of you who have signed up to my patreon if you have not yet make sure you check it out love y'all so much and make sure that you have a good goddamn evening give me my things i can take your money and you keep that green give me my things give me my things boy what the money i don't want no strings 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 no strings